Hi, I'm Dr. Kelly Gola, a chiropractor from Olympia, Washington, and author of the health blog, Wellness, an Evidence-Based Lifestyle. Today I'd like to show you the best exercises that you can do to relieve low back pain and prevent future low back injuries. So let's take a look at the exercises that will keep you healthy and strong. So the first exercise we're going to look at today is using a foam roller to loosen up our low back and hips, helping get, keeping those joints moving well and relaxing the muscles. So Patrick's going to go ahead and lean back onto the foam roller and just going to gently roll back and forth, putting as much pressure as comfortable while he relaxes those muscles and loosens up his back. All right, so now the second exercise we're going to look at is a plank series of exercises. This exercise can be modified as it becomes easier um, and you can increase the difficulty level. So we'll look at the basic plank and then work our way up a little bit. So Patrick's going to come on his forearms and toes. And the key is you're going to be contracting your core all the way around, all the way around your spine, keeping your hips and shoulders level. So imagine that you're trying to balance a glass of water on your back right there. You can hold this position for anywhere from 10 to 20 seconds and relax and do multiple sets. So go ahead and relax, Patrick. Progression of this exercise to add a little more difficulty and challenge is going to be stabilizing yourself on, a, on an exercise ball. So Patrick's going to rest his forearms on the ball and then come up into that same plank position. The same idea, keeping your core tight, shoulders and hips even. And again, we can hold that for 10 to 15 seconds. And now the third and final progression is called stir the pot. So Patrick's going to be in the same plank position on the ball. He's going to keep everything stable except his forearms where he's going to try to rotate the ball around in a clockwise and counterclockwise direction. So again, notice how he's keeping his back stable and straight, only moving his forearms and shoulders and good and relax. So that's the plank series of exercises. So the third exercise we're going to show is a briefcase carry using the kettlebell to really functionally train our quadratus lumborum, our lateral obliques, and the, the lateral side of our core stability muscles. So the first progression of this briefcase carry, Patrick's going to be holding the kettlebell at his side while walking back and forth. While walking, it's really important that he tries to keep his shoulders and hips as even as possible so he avoids any tilting or imbalances. So in this next progression, Patrick's going to take the kettlebell from a rack position. He's going to turn it bottoms up, so holding the kettlebell bottoms up and again walking back and forth. This requires a little more steering control from his forearm and shoulder. And again, just adding a little more challenge to that quadratus lumborum. So now the final most difficult level of the briefcase carry, Patrick's going to take the kettlebell and hold it overhead arm outstretched with the kettlebell bottoms up position and again walking back and forth, keeping his shoulders level and his hips even. So Patrick's carrying 15 pounds right now. This is a very challenging exercise and you can adjust the weight as you see fit. So the fourth and final exercise we're going to show today here in the office is going to be more of a dynamic challenge for the stabilizing muscles in your back. It's going to be a kettlebell swing. So again, we're using the kettlebell and Patrick's going to be focusing on bending the hips and keeping his back straight as he raises and lowers that kettlebell. So the weight of the kettlebell coming down forces the back to kind of give a dynamic effort, stabilizing that back, keeping it straight. So we just looked at four extremely effective exercises for decreasing low back pain and preventing future back injuries. But what if you don't have access to a gym or some of the equipment we've shown in the videos today? Well, I'm glad you asked. Well, let's quickly look at ways you can exercise from the comfort of your own home to achieve these same results of decreasing low back pain. So the first home exercise we're going to look at is another one designed to loosen up your back, similar to the foam roller exercise, but one you can do without any equipment. So Patrick's going to come down on his hands and knees, and he's just going to slowly flex, and then extend his back all the way, getting full range of motion up and down from his tailbone to his neck. And you can repeat this as many times until you feel loose, usually sets of 10 are, are good. 
So this next home exercise we're going to look at, similar to the plank in a way to activate your entire core and specifically target your abdominal muscles. So this is going to be a modified curl up. So Patrick's going to have one leg bent, one leg straight. You can switch or not switch, it doesn't make that much of a difference. The next you can see is he's got both hands underneath the small of his back and his, his head resting comfortably on the floor. So when he curls up, he's going to imagine he's keeping his spine straight like a rod and bending at the hips only. So he's going to keep his chin tucked back and he's just going to come about two inches off the ground. Hold that for one to two seconds and relax. And up and relax. So you can see there's not a lot of movement in this exercise, but you're getting complete engagement of the abdominals and not putting as much load on your low back, which is going to make it a safer exercise while still getting as much benefit from the muscles. This next home exercise we're going to look at is similar to the briefcase carry with the kettlebell that we just saw, which is going to be training your quadratus lumborum, your side obliques, the lateral side of your core muscles. So the first progression of this exercise is going to be on your knees and forearm, and Patrick's going to slowly lift up so he's engaging his core here. One thing is we want to keep our knees tight together, so Patrick is relaxing his legs, keeping those knees flat. You're going to get more engagement in your abs. Go ahead and relax. So that's the first progression. The next way we can do it and make it a little more challenging is extending the legs. So Patrick's going to come up just on his feet and forearm. So this adds more challenge to the exercise. And we can hold these exercises for 10 to 20 to 30 seconds and increase your endurance this way. Now this exercise we're going to be looking at from home is going to be similar to the kettlebell swing in the fact that we're going to be adding more of a dynamic challenge to the muscles in the posterior of our core, the paraspinal muscles, multifidi, which play a large role in low back pain. So Patrick's going to come up on his hands and knees, and the first progression of this exercise, we're just going to extend one leg, and he's going to hold that leg back there, trying to keep his hips and shoulders square, and his back as flat as possible, so there's no torque, no twisting. You can hold this position for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. You can increase it as your endurance um, strengthens. Go ahead and relax. Now the next progression is going to be using the arm and the leg. So Patrick's going to go ahead and extend his left leg and his opposite side arm, so his right arm in this case, again keeping the hips and shoulders as square as possible. One way to think about it is imagine you've got a glass of water on your back and you don't want to spill it, so we can't have any twisting or bending up. Go ahead and relax. The third progression to add a little more challenge and a little more of a dynamic element to this exercise, again we're going to extend the arm and leg. And now we're just going to do repetitive sets. We're going to be bringing the elbow and knee together to touch and back out and again. And so we'll you know, do a set of 10, 15, and again, trying to minimize the movement in the back. So all that movement's coming from the hip joint and shoulder joint. And one more. And so today we've looked at some of the most effective exercises you can do to decrease your low back pain, keep your back strong, and prevent future injuries. If any of these exercises are painful while you're performing them, try to modify the exercise and stay out of that painful range of motion. If your back continues to hurt for more than a week, go see your local chiropractor and have it checked out.